What's up, my It's your boy, Alphys. I'm looking cute, looking clean, looking sexy, and I'm joined with... You already know your local neighborhood scumbag here to give the folks their daily dose of dirtbag shame, gimmick, different day, ready to talk about the the mutant violence and racism that's going on in the world. You got to get it together, folks. People are people. Yeah, this is a keep it 99 casual conversation mashup. <laughs> so we're just going to get the casual conversation. We're not doing it. There we go. Right we're going to have a casual conversation about mutants. Yeah, so... Like I said, it's the highest rated Marvel show ever, highest rated Marvel movie ever, 100% throughout the board, fans and critics. It's a, it, they, most people say right after, but we find out it's a year after what yep. happened in the X-Men. It, which makes sense, because like I, at, at first I was thinking it was it was right after like everyone else, and then I was like, uh, Jean Grey was not super pregnant at the end of at the end of season five during 1996 season five season six whichever it was but she was not she was not super pregnant to shock her folks she is yeah. but so we find out jeans pregnant my my guy my boy my guy cyclops leading the team my x-men come to me i'm like oh but, i didn't know how i liked it i don't like, I don't like yeah. it but 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 I ain't gonna lie, they made Cyclops cold and that 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 landing scene. Oh my god! They, 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 they did. <laughs> no, I'm they, they, they did, and I was I wasn't sure how people were, were gonna receive. Like I don't know how many people had watched all five or six seasons of the original to know that that, that Professor X wasn't gonna at least here in these beginnings. He's not some extra big part. He he he's a plot device that's not quite a plot device but uh it i i'm i'm can i just say i'm really happy about this yo these first two episodes really good they were um first episode we got introduced to a new character which I, and he really ain't that important but but <laughs> he, he not he, he got a cool solar power his solar power really cool though he, don't do Sunspot like that, He's bro. Like, hey, you know Sunspot. He, he a new mutant, and you know how that did. <laughs> he, he was part of the extreme X-Men. Yeah. Shout out to the 90s where everything had to, the 90s and early 2000s where everything had to be extreme. Listen, I'm, he, he showed Sunspot, which is, um, by the way, he's really powerful. If anybody <laughs> He is really strong. <laughs> oh, yeah. This man, this man is a solar battery on fucking. I don't know what what kind of steroid, but it's a solar. He is a solar battery on steroids, to say the least. Sunspot is nothing to joke so about. So he basically got kidnapped. We we th they think um, Rath Grath. I can't get it. never see his name right. They think he died, but he don't. He's in the Sahara Desert. They kind of they kind of sped through this because it really wasn't that important. They just wanted to mess them. Set the backdrop. In master mode. They just wanted to put master mode and do the. I was gonna say they. I was gonna say they just trying to throw the master mode in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, set us up for Modoc later on. You know, it's, you know, it's gonna have something to do with something later on. Um, if as you know, Mister Sinister, he kind of created. Not we. Saw, I saw him in the intro. I saw him in the you know, intro. He's a big so part of because we found out in the end of episode two. <laughs> why he's so big? Yeah. Uh -huh. If you read the comics, you know already, and y'all know y'all looking at the story right now. But, but that is not Jean Grey. <laughs> no, it's not. That is Miss Madeline. Madeline Pryor. Made by Mr. Sinister, which kind of led into the last part of the last season of the X Men. Yeah, he, he needed clone. a clone. And it makes sense that Madeline Rip don't know who that, that's Jean for real because, of course, she wouldn't because she is literally entrapped with all of Jean's memories. Because he wanted her yep. to have a child with Cyclops to have the most perfect baby ever, which turns out to be the baby. I was about to say you you get the you get the psionic power and you get the kinetic hardware, yo. You can't which go made, wrong. That's a nasty combo. Which always. made Nathan, of course, which ended up being Cable, which I already admit, which. Is but not not until he cops the, he's not technically Cable until he gets the technocrotic virus or yeah. whatever. So he, he's he's Nathan. Right, they, they, they did a trunks. They did a trunks. <laughs> 
<laughs> they already met Caitlyn. Then all of a sudden, they were born. The friends of shout out the friends of humans. Shout out the F O H. But the first episode, they basically go meet them. It's just a. It just this episode is basically about Cyclops dealing with being the new leader or being a father. And then we, and then we, then we find out. <laughs> um, Charles Xavier had a will, and and um, he he didn't happen to leave everything to his number one student Scott Summers. Um, he donated it to the to the Holocaust Survivors Fund that is Magneto. Which might actually end up being a, which was dope for episode two. But it's it's Scott trying to figure out the difference between being a leader, struggling, kind of making people mad. Wolverine, of course, don't like him because he's. That with Gene, which he probably might be a little bit more okay. But he te- he technically didn't. You know he technically didn't. He might didn't, but he might be too good. He like, yes, you did it wrong. I don't know. It depends on how close so, they stick so to the comment. Because they full comment and he's still telling Pearl Gene Gray. Hey. <laughs> but, but here, listen, if they do go full comic, if they do, we know what happens. Fucking poor Madeline gets ousted out, ends up the queen of limbo, and fucking they just abandon the baby. It is what it is. I don't know if that's what we're doing, but that is that is what they did in the comic book. She went to limbo, that baby went elsewhere, and Gene and Cyclops moved on until they got into that polyamorous relationship with Logan later on. Yeah, Rachel later on too, so shout out to the little sis again. Yeah, shout out shout out Rachel. Shout out um Nathan's got a brother too. Um shit, what's his name? I can't remember it off the top of my head, but the the, the, the the summer's children, the summer's children, there are multiples of them. Rachel, Rachel's a beast, though. Shout out to Rachel. You also had to finish for though she won't be she won't be born for a good little minute at this clip, though. Yeah. Um. Cable had hope. Which one was it? Which one was it? Yeah, hope. Yeah, hope was the one that they hope was the one that brought all the mute when they did. Um, House of M at the end, right? Hope was the reincarnation of the Phoenix in the end, and she ended up giving the mutants their powers back. I don't know how deep into the comics we're going to get to get that far because there's a lot that needs to got to do House of M first. Which I mean, if they plan on doing House of M in this, this could be crazy. But you no, know, we have like who else we had? We had was it um we had Strife and Cable who are the same mean, person. Yep, Strife is Cable. Yeah, so we had that. Leader of the Marauders. Well, Ted, he was second in command of Mr. Sinister in the yeah, Marauders. Yeah, Nate Gray also. He took over the Marauders. But isn't isn't Nate Scott's brother though? Oh, that's Havoc and both well, of No, Havoc, Havoc. Okay, Nate yeah. Is, uh, Nate like is son. Havoc. That's Rachel's brother. Nate. Okay. And uh, having Nate and Nathan is crazy. We also forget that Cyclone had a baby with um, Emma Frost named Ruby, but we don't talk about her. Frost? Yeah. <laughs> we don't, we don't mean, talk about Ruby so much. Same, hey, same way we don't talk about Kid Omega and the Stepford Cuckoos. We know how that went down. And also they had a, they had um, Rachel. They, we know that we said Rachel Summers, which also married Franklin and Richard later on, but and had and yep. had Hyperstorm. Which was kind of disappointment because Hyperstorm ain't nowhere near strong as neither one of their parents. I'm like, dang, how you the only kid that got weak? Uh, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say your your mother was like a phoenix force yeah, goddess yeah. almost, and your dad is like the creator of the universe. Like, she was literally, she was literally like perfectly in sync with the goddamn phoenix force. There wasn't no battle. She got she got to go right on back to the white hot room. Everything. And then you got um. And, your da- and then your dad is like the dude who can recreate the universe, and, and then all of a sudden you just hyperstorm. Like, <laughs> yeah, we did, we going in some. We- storm went. Storm went through it in these episodes too. These first two episodes, man. I like how they did do a lot. Shout of, out, shout out to Laura Monroe. Two, they did. Uh, they did a lot of foreshadowing. Rachel, like, I want my kid mm-hmm. to be normal, and Storm was like, I always wondered what it was like to be normal. But I wouldn't be blessed yep. like that. I wouldn't be blessed to meet friends like you. Shout out the executioner getting shit done. The ex, the emphasis is on the X. The X executioner. Yeah. Um, but the first episode about basically Scott trying to fit his way, and then he realized that yo, I really want to have, I really want to have a family. So it's a, friend, a regular like, family. Hey, he doesn't want to have. Y'all. And then they hear somebody break into the house. Well, he didn't really break in because it's his house, but. <laughs> I was pay his house. He can't break into his and own he shit. And the stuff that Logan them broke because Logan uh, sold in his show. 
I mean, I forgot how much of an yeah. asshole Logan was. Oh yeah, you gotta think it, that that man was still this. If if we're going back to technically when this was, he, he was still he was barely a hundred years old. But a lot of stuff had happened to his brain at this point. He hadn't had as much healing or character development at this point. Yeah. So he's still like that so who don't like Scott because he got the girl. But he's like, I, I still would have knocked out that redhead. God damn it. Even though all of Logan's old ladies die, yo, if, if Logan puts his peen in you, chances are you probably got a – there's a hit out on you immediately afterwards. That's the way it feels, yo. As soon as Logan knocks something down, there is some – I don't know if it's like an intergalactic call or what it is, but there is something that just calls forth danger to that woman immediately. It's kind of like Spider-Man. Like, He's God's beloved. <laughs> Never forget that Spider Man killed Mary Jane with radioactive cock at the end of the day. Let's, let's, be, let's be yo, the radi- yo, he yo, killed Mary Jane with the radioactive cock. He on the show dude. to tell Spider Man, hey, bro, he like, why do I go through so much? He was like, because I made you Spider Man, I made you cool, and you my favorite, so you gotta <laughs> the web of death, you my joke, you my joke, you have to go through. <laughs> You gotta go through stuff to get better. I need you to be. I need you to survive all cases, and you can't be having these family distracting you. Gotta gotta be gotta be able to beat them all. <laughs> you can't have family distracting you. You 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 marvel Jesus. Shout out shout out little Bay Parker. Yeah, though. Peter Parker really never died. He like he got the most natural. He be fighting like Omega level Alpha Universal people. And he never dies, and I'm like. God, I was about to say, he goes up against, it does not matter who, whether it be the Beyonders, whether it be uh, Dr. Doom, whether it be a- anybody from anyone's Marvel's rogues gallery, god dang, Spider-Man has probably put a beat down on him no, in some like, way, shape, or form. He fights these people, he never, I'm like, bro, you are it's, made it just You got to think, Spider-Man even beat up the president at one point in time. Remember when they made Kingpin the president? Yo, he even beat, and Norman Osborn was the president one time or another, I do believe. So, like, this nigga beating the government at the end of the day. Something we all wish we could do. Uh, this is, by the way, this is casual conversation, so this will go off in the Marvel nerd talk. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I mean, but yeah. Yeah, guys, let's get back, let's get back on track. So you gotta, I can't, if you, since you my favorite, I got to make it harder for you because it's unfair because I don't like them others like that. Trials and tribulations. <laughs> you might, like, you're like, hey, bro, do I have to be <laughs> He's no, like, yo, can, to, do, to, do, do, oh, hey, can I just oh, swing hey, God people? power and Sentry was like one of the most powerful being in the world. He fought Sentry, they died. In an epic way, by the way. They died yep. in the most epic. If they ever had yeah, it, was, fight, it was that's epic. crazy. A thousand be honest versus Shut two people, century, and they just bro. go out in an explosion. Spider Man fight him, he killed. Tell void, me the yo. What's going on? <laughs> the one above all. Then all of a sudden, his, his friend, best friend, Venom, lives through all kind of bullshit. <laughs> like. Hey, you know, Which we also we also got to see a, a article in the uh, I believe it was the second episode an article that was in fact written by good old Venom Eddie Brock. Yeah, we saw that. Um, second episode we learned about Magneto and him actually trying to live up to Professor Xavier. He knew Charles cared. Like, he knew it. He could. He was always checking on him, but never fucking with he him. Like, I kept. One interesting thing they did is they confirmed the movie thing that they added to the movie, but didn't add it in the anime. But they like, I wore this hat so you block it. I'm like, but in the an- the written anime, he ne- it never really blocked it. That man showed that man the Holocaust with the helmet on. They're, well, they're going they're going more comic book accurate because in the comic book, that's the only reason he had that. The only two <laughs> niggas that get helmets that stop him the are the that was like what ninety nine. They didn't have it early. Yeah, but I wasn't alive in the eighties, so it was that, that was. I, you know what I mean? Yeah, that late. Because they like, why come he just don't whoop him every time he shoots? Juggernaut had the block out. Yeah, Juggernaut had it. Get-go, of course, so. his helmet is from a god. Yeah, shout out to the rest. <laughs> so, so, oh. <laughs> shout out, shout out to the rest. Not and the crimson I'm sorry, that is not, no go. <laughs> I mean, not even try that I like one thing I did see in, in this that I loved. I loved that we got comic book accurate more. Oh yeah, uh, it wasn't the weird. It wasn't the weird haircut with, from the nineties or whatever, yo. It was regular, bald, pasty, pale more. You loved and the an asshole too. I like that he's an asshole too. 
Hey, Andy, turn, hey, you see when that nigga turned into goddamn. Uh, no, no, not Jean Grey. When he, when he turned into, because I have a question about this, he turns into Psylocke, but he has the swords when he transforms. So can this nigga just make weapons now, too? Because he went. He, I don't know if he can make weapons or not. I don't think he can make weapons. I know he can turn into whatever. Cause, I love but then it goes from Kawhi. Who came in as Professor Xavier in front of Cyclops? You know how, how yeah. most Cyclops he was. He did not give and a And then Xavier. it was Jean Grey in front of Wolverine talking about, oh, I, your best friend. I'm like, this dude don't give a fuck. <laughs> hey, but, but you got to think. Morph went through a lot of shit. In the, since we know this is directly after the X-Men um. 96, the cartoon and everything. Morph went through all kinds of torture with Mr. Sinister, and he was a bad person afterwards. Yeah, I mean, so my dude. they stuck to it. <laughs> but he, he was so throughout the episode, in the first episode, that was all in the first episode. Second episode, like I said, Magneto, they come to arrest Magneto, and his executioner came, and like, we gonna get the revenge. And we gonna and get the judges too for giving him a trial. Magneto was waxing poetically. Shout out to him doing his Vegeta moments, being, oh my God, Magneto was so good in this. Hey, who was talking that shit, like, yo? Oh, the people that try y'all try to get justice, they turn they don't even like you for trying to get justice. Oh, how did how it's turned? And whack. Hey, but it worked out in its favor, yo. And, uh, execution execution that injected the plan. Him and Storm together was OP. But but then yeah. execution came behind late. And put him the like friends the of the stuff. friends of humanity came busting in the court. Storm room. saved Magneto. Magneto gets upset. Oh, you, this is how you know how OP Magneto is. Yo, when Storm got hit, he got mad. They start copying, please. Storm. <laughs> man, no, we didn't know this was happening. Hey, they were like, oh, <laughs> but listen, listen. We, this was not. This is not what we intended. To, we not didn't intend to turn out this way. I'm sorry, it's, I didn't. I didn't know the score. No, they, <laughs> You don't want to deal with a nigga that can magnetize the iron in your blood. So you just don't. Oh, we so sorry. You just start picking up the Hey, when, 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 before they arrested him, when he did the helicopter job, yo, before he let him arrest him, he was like, yeah, y'all niggas better recognize. Yo, he took the whole thing and put in the sky. They were sweating so bad. like, I'm sorry. But listen, we got to Listen, that, that's not Magneto we're dealing with. That's Swagneto, yo. He got the long, he got the long hair out. Nigga got the cut off with the with the M, yo. That's swag he said, Hey, bro. Before I was born, they 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 tried to murder me because I served a different god. I'm like, oh my god, this bitch. Yeah. Hey, hey when he said, I was like, life. this nigga, this nigga spitting. <laughs> hey, but he was like, nigga, I made it out of Burkow, Auschwitz. What you think this is? He was like, nigga, they, they ain't find a concentration camp that could hold me. And then I got older and I thought, oh, this is done. No, oh, you a mutant now. I got to get you again. Yeah, I was going to say, which is a, just a cold game of duality right there. It was like, yo, this nigga made it out the fire right into the goddamn they start, they start, The world start forgiving the other group more. Now they hate this group. Like, yeah, they were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, those schmockies aren't too bad. I mean, uh, what, are you, what are you thinking? And then all of a sudden, but these people, you one of them too. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn. But my man took him I'm, in the I'm sky really and said, so you happy. better thank Professor Xavier because what happened to Storm? I would have ended everybody in that building. And I was going to say, he was like, I don't I wreck shop. If, if if Charles was here, y'all niggas would have been done. Because he, he, he came up after me and done like the nice shit and been like, please forgive us. He doesn't know what he's doing. But he's not here to cop please for me. So I'm going to let y'all live. He got, and he got it. Charles was here. He got a full party. <laughs> he he did. Got, full and, party. And they country, were like, and "Hey, and you don't think this is and this country is part of the This is post Genosha. I was gonna say we he got Genosha out the deal too. They were like, "You want in the you want in the United Nations, dog? <laughs> we we let you we let you in. Asteroid M, whatever. We let you in, bro." So we'll see, we're gonna see what episode three holds. We, the episode ended with, of course, Jean Grey showing up at the door. So I need the X Men. Um. Yeah, real genius. Storm right. left too. Storm went on the thing. Maybe yeah, she's going Storm. back to Black Panther after all these years. When, when Storm was actually afraid of the lightning, though, that was a poignant mm -hmm. moment. I was like, "Yo, think that's got to be the first time in her life she's ever been afraid of a storm. Got to be." I was, I was like, "Is she going back to Black Panther?" Hey, her, catching the bus to Wakanda is disgusting. <laughs> catching the bus to Wakanda is crazy. Hey, baby, I'm back after all the years. I left you with that old white man. 
I was gonna say, I, I know, I know, I left you with the white man for the white man with the metal skeleton and all, but I left um, you for that old bald head white man. I, my my bam back, baby. I ain't got no power. No oh, so you was talking Charles? I was talking about how she was fucking on Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that is that is that cartoon? I, yeah, I don't know if that's cartoon canon. That might not be cartoon canon. My bad, my bad. See, she might not have been fucking on Wolverine. Yeah, right now. Oh, the Charlie. You think the Charlie yeah. going to take a bet? No, they got to show in episode three to Charlie to take a bet. Yo, if the Charlie just takes her back, that nigga is simp. <laughs> she don't get a comeback after she lost everything. Bitch, you used to be a, you used to be a god. You don't get a comeback when you regular. The fuck? <laughs> comeback, basic. You don't get a comeback basic. You don't get a glow down and then fucking get be the queen of Wakanda again. Fuck this look like. Um, but yeah, we go we, we find out that as soon as I heard Nathan, I was like, oh yeah, that ain't Nate or that ain't Rachel. When I heard boy, when I heard boy the first time, I figured it was gonna be like, oh, that ain't Gene. That is not Gene. Cause I'm like, Nate yeah. don't supposed to come for a little bit. Don't exactly. Nate don't come for a bit. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to go. Which, I, I mean, to, this listen, I'm, I'm this guy got Emma Frost pregnant too. We get Ruby. Nobody cares about Ruby. Hey, if he just got, if he just got multiple babies, he's just ducking off and leaving behind. He's like, yo. Then I'm right about what I'm is it with, what is it with Scott head. Summer? <laughs> what is it with Scott Summer and knocking down Omega level telepath? <laughs> Why? Telepath. It's like if you got the power, if you're toxic enough to have the power to fuck with his mind, he's trying to get some. <laughs> And that's nasty work, but you love to see it at the end of the day. I hope we get, I hope we get Scott's racist arc in this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> get, give me, give me the 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 warrior of mutant kind. Give me, give me, give me evil Scott. Give me, give me punch dimension eyeball letting it go, Scott. But you think the first I, I do want to episode I, when they're gonna do the strongest mutant ever? I think, I think he has. I, I think they have. I think he has to because he's not. Okay, at the end of 96, he goes off with Melandra to the Shi'ar Empire or whatever. We don't know if he, I don't know if they ever actually case closed. He's no longer with us or not. But I mean, you, uh, it sort of feels like he has to come back at some point, don't you think? I was figuring, because it's a lot of hints they're going to do. Um, What's his name? The Strongest Mutant Ever. What's his name? What's his name? Let me see what his name is. Let me look it up. Um, the nigga that kills himself and brings himself back to life. Uh. Matt Malloy. Yeah, you think they're gonna? And the only way they can beat him is to <laughs> parent before he even come alive. Professor X kid. I mean, we could get we could get onslaught out of this. You put you put Professor X mind and Magneto's body. You get onslaught, and we could get that. It could be a thing. I hope we see some really like really crazy powerful mutants like um. Mr. But I don't want to overdo it though. Mr. A- but see the 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 storylines that we've been talking about here, these are like these aren't like quick storylines they can throw in a couple yeah, episodes. No, these no, are no, storylines no. that need that need multiple multiple episodes. Like the whole House of M thing, we'd look at them crazy if they gave us two episodes and tried to tell all of House of M in those two or three episodes. I don't, actually, I like, think oh, gonna, Wanda got- I'm trying to figure out which story they're going with. It looks like they're gonna start focus on the Madden um because c- prior story more than. Yeah, the Madeline Pryor, her going to limbo. Yeah, you could probably you could, most you could definitely gonna probably be on that. And then that story about Storm and how she get back and then get. But Matthew Malloy, Matthew Malloy leads into House of M though, because Mister Mister M helps him, even though he ends up murking himself at the end or whatever, writing himself out of existence. But either way, yeah, no, but there's a lot of. This was such a good start though, and like this. Was a breath of fresh air to the midness that we've gotten from Marvel in these past two years or so. This is a lot of mid, whole lot of mid. This is the first thing that might not be that. Yeah, we um we had a what Tori said with me. I don't think Marvel been bad because I saw bad. Madam Web was bad. Madam Web was. It been bad. mostly like that's why I average. said mid. <laughs> like oh, Miss Marvel mid. was okay. Yeah, this is okay. I think people can't nah. have like, and it's still average. Yeah, like, like, like Web is it ain't no end. No, that's terrible. That's a terrible movie. No, not watch. N- niggas be forgetting that C's get degrees. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's passable. <laughs> but Marvel has so much, and that's all you can ask for. You know, I think they were so they was on a hot streak so much 
that people don't accept me no <laughs> Like you can't put out I had to cool movie. down eventually you though. You can't put out an average movie after end game. <laughs> what you no. Take it back to end game. You can't put out an average movie. Take us back to Infinity War when everything was grand. Black Panther, Infinity War, all those movies hit back to back. Captain America, Winter Soldier. Shout out to shout out to Wakanda Forever. We, we showed them underwater Mexicans what's for. You know what I'm saying? You can't put out can't put out average movies after that. I think that old people problem was, but that movie you can't say they were bad. Bad movies are bad. Oh yeah. So, but it was okay. But people don't accept okay. This was actually great. So I'm happy. It was really good, like really, really good for two episodes, Joe. It, I feel like it hooked you into what whatever narrative they choose to go with going forward. I feel like they go, did a good job of hooking people. Think how excited we was. Like, we went, we went through like 30, 40 stories. <laughs> what are gonna do? Like, bro, I literally, I went back and it, it, it's been sparse out a couple weeks here and there, but I went back and watched the whole of the X-Men 96, the original X-Men animated series, just to get ready for this. And it picked up like it was the next season, low key. Hey, I, so do, I do want... They even... There were references to old episodes in there and everything. I did like the fact that Gene, I mean, that Madeline was like, he's here. Who, Apocalypse? Yeah. <laughs> no, the baby. Don't sit there and let the, just walk in your house normal. If, 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 and Saba Noor just walked in the front door and was like, hey, guys. <laughs> no, he'd blow your whole house up. No. Like, how do you exist? I was going to say, there would not be an Xavier school of fucking Apocalypse just pulled up. Come on now, first mutant in Salvador, the the meanest of the mean. But I, like I said, good first episode. I enjoyed it. Um, quiet on set review recap on Saturday. Make it make sense. So beat up for that. Um, BMF Shogun. Me and Joe will probably try to get that on Friday. Tomorrow I'll be on. I'll be that news doing news stories. I got some crazy ones. It's a lot of scams going. We're gonna we're gonna settle down on some crazy. Let's just go over some scams. I'm saying I was scamming season in full know, tax. Yo, you know, tax, it's, it's tax season, yo, scam season. You know I'm saying Zell out here watch Zell. So not me, Zell. Z E L L E. <laughs> yeah, the, the the pay the payment place Zell. Oh, <laughs> Zell pay, not Zell. Zell pay, not Zell yeah. May. See what I did there? <laughs> All right, Joe, what can they find you? Of course, you can find me at Afrokami765 on all platforms. Of course, you can catch me on here on Overall 99 Media, being an Overall 99 scumbag. Casual conversations every Wednesday. Um, you can also catch me earlier on Wednesdays on the Board Cartels Roundtable. We just did a March Madness and New Gen anime. Go check that out. Of course, um, Friday Night Year, where we talk about all the things going on in wrestling from the Less than overwhelming arrival of Mercedes Monet to everything in between. You know what The Rock said? Fuck is the way you can all. But, um, you know the vibe. Something flagrant, something inflammatory. And you can find me, like I said, I'll be that news tomorrow and on Mondays. As well as the random videos that we put out is recorded already. If you can't catch the live, we'll put the regular videos out. I appreciate y'all. Let's end it on a video. Catch your conversations. We back. Yeah, great, a player.